Callum Davies for Australian Boxing Podcast. I'm joined by Jamie Weeks today in Malaga. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good, yourself. Yeah, good, thanks. So you've uh, you've got a big fight coming up on uh, the Paddy's Night fight for CDL. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, first one back in a year, just over 13 months now. So I'm looking forward to getting back in there and starting the year off with a, a good statement. And yeah, yeah, can't wait. And coming off a, a injury that you've now been uh, fixed via surgery. Yeah, um, yeah, I had surgery. I did um, had a spur and um, kept on chipping every every time my outbreak extended. So there was floating bones in there, so they took all that out, cleaned it out, and yeah, she's just getting better now. She's yeah, working well. So just a bit of a background of yourself for those who might not know. Um, emigrated from Perth, from Wales. Yep. Whereabouts in Wales are you from, mate? Uh, South Wales, a little village called Pontywain. Um, started off my amateur career when I was about ten years old in uh, Kumkan ABC and that was uh, that was the start great great little gym little tin shed freezing nuts off in the winter boiling nuts off in the summer unreal and as an amateur was it always the plan to turn pro oh definitely yeah I hated the amateur game and I still hate it now yeah. yeah not a fan of it just the, the rules and regulations not necessarily yeah, suited just, to your style yeah I just didn't like it at all yeah just yeah it just wasn't for me like you know so how long have you been in Perth now um, I've been here four years and October just gone, yeah. And whereabouts are you training at the moment, Jamie? Um, I'm at the Lacey's gym. That's in uh, Currambine, also in Enloe. Great gym, yeah. Awesome. Great coach, Justin Lacey. Yep. Yeah, he's sweet. He's a sound dad, yeah. So looking to make a statement on the uh, Paddy's Night Bash, yeah. alongside some other great fighters like Wes Capper and things like that, it should be a great night. Yeah, it'd be, fun. It'd be good, good to get on the card on them again. Because we both haven't fought since February last year, so it'll be good to get out. Like, because he's, he's beautiful to watch as well. Like, you know, entertaining and uh, good to spar. Been sparring him most of the camp as well, leading into it. Like, so yeah, he's good, good sparring. Like, keep you on your toes. And uh, I believe you've just recently come back from Bunbury, sp- uh, sparring down at Dennings. Yeah. How did that go, mate? But, yeah, that was handy. Yeah, it was good. Uh, got a nice six rounds out with uh, Cheeky on on the Saturday, and then. Um, we got 12 out on Sunday then, four with Brandon, um, four with uh, the new Kiwi kiddie down there, I forgot yep. his name there, um, and then four with Cheeky then, so yeah, it was a good, uh, good, good day sparring yesterday, great, Cheeky is just so fast, like, you know. So, um, looking to maybe get over east or, you know, even out of Australia for any fights upcoming? Oh, definitely, I'll fight anyway, like, you know, I'd, anytime, anywhere, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried, like, as long as I'm fit, I'm... No one's going to stop me. Like they can't. Yeah. I, I am the best, best junior uh, junior middle in the country, guaranteed. So obviously coming from overseas, over in the UK, how did you find the Australian boxing scene? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was when I first got here. I was fighting a lot of uh, not fighting, sparring, training with a lot of big boys, like you know. So like Tyson Wally and um, Floyd Mason, like they they big boys, like you know. So that was where my first lot of spars come out of here. And, it was great, like, you know, so the standard here is good. Um, I think back home is a bit better, like, you know, more more vi- variety, like, you know, so, uh, yeah, it was good, like, you know. I think uh, one of the advantages that fighters have in the UK is uh, even from a young age, the, the gyms are packed with young kids, um, something that hopefully in Australia the sport's going to uh, build up some sort of uh, some grounding from the gra- grassroots level of the young kids. And um, hopefully start bringing through some more some more fighters through the amateurs and professional ranks in later life. Yeah, definitely. The like, back home, like I started when I was ten, like you know, and, like I said, the gym was full. You know, you, 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 it was yeah, mixed mixed ages, like but yeah, lots of variety again, like and different standards. And, yeah, it was good growing up there, like you know, and uh, it'd be nice for it to happen here too, like you know. And Lacey's gym there is, he got a heap of young boys there training now and watching them compared to what I was like when I was growing up like 10 to 15 say like watching these young boys now they jump over my head if I was their age now like you know they're just they're unbelievable so fast so hard like you know plenty of mongrel in them as well like it's good to watch so you say the the future of Australian boxing is looking quite bright oh definitely 110 percent yeah Especially with the the young boys coming up through now, like it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Like.
Mm. And with uh, the likes of Ty Coleman and, and uh, decent promoters that are around the place pushing these fights out to the public, it's really uh, building up the, um, the sort of exposure for the fighters, and um, which is obviously um, very much needed for things like sponsorship and that for you guys to carry on in your trade. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like this, like he's doing a great job there now. Ty is like you know again the the ams on the amateur boys on the night as well. Like you know, so they getting seen before they even think about turning pro. If they are thinking about turning pro, like they're getting seen on the pro shows. So that's great. Like you know, and for us with sponsorship, we we need it. Like you know, like because like myself and my wares, like we work full time as well. Like you know, we we're up early in the morning running, training, whatever. And then we're working an eight-hour shift minimum, like you know, and then training again in the evening, like. And trying to just, juggle relationships in between that oh, as well, I'm sure. It's a mission, yeah, you know. Yeah. You, you're dieting as well, like you're just a cranky bastard the whole time. And uh, but the missus understands it. Like, yes, yeah, she understands. So moving from frosty South Wales, how did you find the weather living in Perth and training in the the hot shed gyms that we have here and things like that? Oh, it was unreal. Yeah, it was. Um, I probably rocked up when I first came to. I was in Perth, I was very overweight, I, I busted my shoulder, I did playing rugby, so uh, I wasn't training or anything, so I was about 82, 83 kilos, and uh, that was October time, so yeah, the heat was getting there, and um, I was certainly struggling in the heat, that's for sure. Do you enjoy the hot weather? Yeah, I love it, yeah, I do love the hot weather. I'd rather, I'd rather the heat, yeah, definitely. I can't run in the cold, I only mm. run in the heat. The, uh, the dark mornings and the dark evenings in winter time. Yeah. A bit bit more uh, positive outlook here with the sun shining oh, and definitely. that West Coast drive. Everyone's smiling in the sun, like, you know. You, 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 yeah, it's just the weather, it makes you get up in the morning, you know. You want to you wanna get out for that run. Back home, it's five degrees in the morning, pitch, pitch black, pissing over rain, you just don't want to, you know. You, oh, unreal. You've got some serious dedication if you can get your ass out of bed in the morning there. That's it. Well, Jamie Weeks, thanks so much for speaking to Australian Boxing Podcast. And uh, we'll see you at the Paddy's Night Bash by uh, CDL Promotions. And, uh, yeah, hopefully get the win, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely get the win. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Jamie.